This wig is synthetic. It does have a lace front, but it has a hard back. It is does have a um, stretch to it. It is elastic. Technically, it's 21 inches. Mm -hmm. But because of the elastic, like, cheated a little bit. But now I want to turn it into something else. You can see it's quite... This is left over from braiding. Uh, it's quite teased. Um, it's got a lot of uh, texturizing product in it and hairspray. Very teased. Um, it was steamed. It was washed. It... It was teased for a reason. Um, tea, it was steamed, it was washed, it was put in curlers. I want to turn this into the style of Elsa's wig on Broadway. Um, I, <laughs> sorry, it's too hot. I'm gonna just take this off. So not the way you take that off. Okay. Yes, I wasn't wearing that properly. Um, I wasn't going to because, so yeah, this is what it looks like. See how much lace is on it, um, the hairline, that may, if that's important to you, um, it's quite long even all tangled up and there's actually quite a lot of hair and like I said it is synthetic. Um, and this is the inside looks like. Again, if that is not that interest you. I think I would like to cut the combs out though because they get tangled up in the netting um, and the side adjust a bit because but, but when it this wig is fresh and clean and not this I actually really love it. It's really nice. Um, anyway, so I want to turn it into Elsa's wig from Frozen. I'm gonna do a fishtail braid coming around, hair gradually being pulled into it from the back. I'm gonna have the plait happening here, knees some volume on top with the hair coming back off the face. And there's still some natural texture happening at the back as well. Also need some sort of crystal situation. Oh gosh, did that get more tangled in the last few minutes? Bet you it did. Anyway, so first things first is I need a brush. I need to brush all this, all, all the knots out of this, all the product out of this. I then need to wash it, let it sit to dry. Um, while it's, I'm going to say damp, I'll start curling it because I'm going to need to, try not to hold it by the lace gonna need to set it so that the curls come back. I also need to create a part. This did, this does have a part, but I, um, you know, styled it so it didn't have one last time. This, if I remember correctly, does naturally have a middle part, but I changed it last time. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna brush this, I'm gonna clean this, I'm gonna let it dry a bit, then we're gonna start styling. Okay, so now it's brushed. Take it off. Okay. So, time to go wash it.
So now that we've got the wig into this nice lovely state, you can also see how long it is. I need to step out of frame to indicate. Um, now that it's cleaned, it's brushed, cleaned, steamed, directioned, all that beautiful stuff. It is time It is time to actually style it. So, I have been stalking Instagram basically um, to find reference pictures for the Elsa wig. Now, interests me most is her final wig. The reason for that is that to me it has the most interest. Um, it's got that fishtail braid happening and it's got that swoop action. I can see it's being held in place while it sets with some long pins. And it's, which would give you that iconic sort of like piecey, swept back in pieces look from the movie. Um, another shot that was really useful was this one, mid action shot. So you can see them resetting it, that ah, oh, it's definitely a fishtail braid that, it's definitely a fishtail braid that's being done there. And I can see the plait that's done to the side, the hair being held so it stays up, but still quite soft. This has now been set in its curls and steamed. I only had enough Swiss rollers for the front, for most of the circumference, but mainly just the front. The rest I've just done in soft curl sets, which when I say that, I mean just curl back on itself and pinning in place with either bobby pins or headdresser pins. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna start untucking it and then we're gonna get to actual styling. Hey. So, as you can see, all the curls are now out and quite lovely. They're quite delicious, to quote a friend of mine. What I'm going to do now is I want to brush all these curls out and then I'm going to start dividing it into the sections that I need for the styling. So, let's get doing this. Oh, 